Let me go ahead and bring you down. If you get sick, please close your eyes in three, two, one, bringing you down. There we go. You should be able to see the board now and the table. Sorry, there we go. All right. This shouldn't get too, too big where I'll have to move the camera up like the swag um, that I did last weekend, which I love. It's still up there and I have to put it on my door after um, or before uh, this weekend because Mardi Gras. So here is the board. Now you're going to cut your felt. Let me put this over here. You know what? No, I'm going to put it over here. You're going to cut your felt or fabric, whichever you're using for this, because you can use yellow fabric as well. It'd be really pretty yellow and white gingham fabric for this. Oh, that would be really cute too. Um, at eight by eight squares, I left this one longer. So I'm just measuring. You may not be able to see it over on this side. Scoozy for the scissors. I find these are best. I can knock out a whole bunch with that. So it's an eight by eight square, eight by eight ish square. Doesn't have to be perfect. So for this petal, I cut the squares at eight by eight. I'm gonna fold them into a triangle and then you're gonna cut the fold, okay? Like I said, this is gonna be a little bit tedious but I promise you, it's, it's really, it looked really pretty for me. So you're gonna have two triangles. And hey, you get a lot more bang for your buck when doing this petal or this flower um, with the fabric because you're not using as much. Ta-da! Now, if you are doing the large flower board, I suggest instead of eight inches, you use 10 or 12 and do the same thing. This is stiff, and once we um, start folding the petal, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Okay. I missed something. There we go. Better? Sorry, Debbie. Hi, Lisa. I don't know why you can't see. Maybe flip your phone sideways. My phone is sideways, not straight up and down. So if you flip it sideways and swipe um, to your right, you should remove the comments so that way you can see a little bit more. Okay. So like I said, I already started. Um, I preloaded the board, uh, zip tie closed. And I wanna show you how to do that right now. I was playing, you know how I am. I play. I play before I do something so that we're not on the live so long. Okay, so zip tie closed means we have closed the zip ties onto the board. Zip tie open is where we load it from the bottom through up the top. This is load open. So load close, load open. We're loading close. So I'm just hearing that just a little bit and then moving on to the next one. Okay. Is it? I am one short. What the hey? Hold on, I gotta get some more zip ties. See how pretty this this petal is? And my cat decided to be right here. And I'm still picking up uh, black feathers from the boa from the horse I did <laughs> last weekend. It's nuts, even though. I, I, uh, what do we call it, vacuumed? You're still finding them everywhere. Good golly. Hello, Terica. Teresa, I'm sorry. Hi, Susie. I can't see half the time. My laptop is over here, and it's, of course it's tiny print, so. And I wear glasses, y'all. Getting a little bit older. So, we're going through the top and up through the other hole, okay? Now the small flower board has the same amount of um, holes as the large. 
So there's 16 on the out, eight, so 16 on row one, six, or eight on row two, eight on row three, and eight on row four, okay? So it's the same amount. So in total, who's doing the math? I think I counted 34, 36 cuts that you will need for this petal. Hi, Candy. Candy, I'm going to be using your, uh, your easel again. These ribbon racks back here, Barbara, I got from Amazon. I just typed in shoe racks. And that's what they are. <laughs> and I turns out I from cleaning, I need yet another one. I don't know how. I was using I'm used ribbon. I'm not like Rosie. I don't hoard my ribbon. <laughs> Lee. <laughs> Hi Susie. Hi Susan. <laughs> all right. So we have all our zip ties in and their zip tie closed. Once again, your the petal that we're going to be using is uh, fabric. This is the, um, for those just joined, this is the yellow uh, felt from, I want to say it's from Walmart. I could be wrong. Like I said, it was cleaning. I found it. It didn't have, you know, a sticker or a price or it wasn't wrapped. It was already, you know, I was going to start using it for something. Can't remember what I was going to use it for. Um, but it's, it's, it's flimsy, but thick, if that makes any sense. I'm not good with names with fabric. So if anybody knows the name of it, please share. So I, I cut them as eight by eight ish. I don't, they're not perfect. Okay. If you want to make them perfect, then obviously go ahead and do so. But with the petal itself, it's not going to make a difference. So the eight by eight square, then I'm going to turn it to a triangle. And where the fold is, I'm going to cut. Close your ears if you don't like electric scissors. Okay. So you have two petals now that we're going to do. Honestly, I think this is um, altered from the Ophelia petal that you would do with the deco mesh. I believe it's called the Ophelia. I could be wrong, but this is, this is what you're going to be using. And it's super easy guys, super easy. So I got my pile over here. I've loaded my entire board. Like I said, I already started to make sure that it was going to cover <laughs> and it does because it's felt obviously. So what I'm going to do is from this corner to this corner, I'm going to take with my thumb, I'm going to fold that under and I'm going to scrunch the ends. Now this does get thick. A couple of times it has bounced right out of my fingers and I'm sure it's going to do it on this live. It just happens. But if you're using a fabric like a yellow and white gingham, that would be pretty and it won't be as thick. So I'm trying to grab it with my fingers and then that's why you want to load it closed so you're not fiddling with the zip tie. I'm going to grab it here zip tie it down a little and then I'm just going to fluff up my petal. That's it guys. You know, I like <laughs> easy stuff. <laughs> and then just put your fingers underneath and flounce it out. Easy peasy. Let me get to some comments here. Do they have the adjustable shelves? The link is in my Barbara, um, uh, you have to scroll down a ways, but I'll, I'll put my um, affiliate link with Amazon uh, up again for these. But it's in my posts. Um, they are adjustable. They have holes, you can't see, hold on. Um, so you can see the black right here. Okay, so the holes they have here, there's two, one here and one on the other side. That's the closest. They also have two here and two on the other side where you can, you know, either make them like this or um, slanted to put your heels on. That's the only way I can think about it that way. Hi, Priscilla. I'm good. How are you? 
Hi, Becky. Yes, this felt. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> I don't know where you got it from. I was cleaning, found it. Don't know what I was going to use it for. Using it now. <laughs> the, the felt is, it is felt, um, but I don't know what the correct term is. It's not like the felt that you would get, um, like at Hobby Lobby or Walmart or Michaels where they have it in little shelves and it's like eight, it's almost like a piece of paper, the eight and a half by 11 or however big it is. This is on a spool. Thank you, Lee. Hi, Diana. So like I said, this would be really pretty if you could find a yellow gingham um, I, that just popped into my brain. I didn't have it. I had this, but a yellow gingham, um, uh, fabric would be really pretty with it. Uh, this type of a fold. So this is, I want to say this is the altered version of the Ophelia petal that you would do normally do with deco mesh. Normally with deco mesh, you would, um, have the square, fold it in a triangle and then bunch up the sides. Um, but here it's just way too thick. So I just cut it in half to make it easier on my fingers. Can you see it popping out? And then when I get to the end, I tuck that under. Okay. Don't you pop out. Don't you pop out. Thank you. And then I'm right away loading it into the zip tie. Before I zip it down all the way, I'm just going to make it all purty. And then that's it. Just a lot, a lot of fun. I am wearing a sweater because it is a little chilly. So you got the little Kentucky, I can call it fabric felt. Thank you, Nellie. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Connie did her horse um, with the white, the same white I used with my unicorn last year. Yes. Fabric felt. Thank you. It was on a roll. It's not a bolt, uh, Lorian. It's was on. It was about this big. Uh, I can't see. I, I don't even know where the thing is. It's about this big, and it's it's in the um where the felt would be. I think in Walmart, but it's not on a bolt. Like they don't have to measure it and cut it for you. Um, I want to say it's about four or five dollars. <laughs> yes, fabric department, correct. In the fabric department, not the craft. So once again, taking my thumbs, pulling it under, just ruffling it up, tucking that under, making sure it doesn't pop, and right away put it in the zip tie. <laughs> <laughs> Pray it doesn't pop out of your fingers. So those of you that have a hard time with your hands, um, the yellow, yellow fabric would be really pretty for this. Uh, you may have to double up on the yellow fabric because it may not be as thick and may not hold its shape. Um, but you can always uh, spray it with spray starch or if you get the Mod Podge spray, that would work as well. I used that last year on my fabric um, 4th of July flowers and they are just fine. Just scrunching it up. So I'm gonna go a little bit faster. So if you need me to, um, please let me know if you need me to slow down. Oh, that's a little too much in there. There we go. And I'll go ahead and show it to you again. If you're just joining, hello, my name is Amy Rose from Amy Rose Recent Crafts. If you are new here, please go ahead and like, follow, and share my page. Or I am a very um, <laughs> Star Wars nerds. If you, nerd, if you could force push me out, I would greatly appreciate it. See, this one isn't perfect. It doesn't need to be. You're not going to see that. That's going to go right into the zip tie. 
See what I mean when it's a, it just pops? It just wants to pop right on your finger. I miss the comments. Oh, thanks, Rosie. Honestly, I'm sure I had a really good plan for this at one point. <laughs> I don't know if I was going to do a yellow horse or what. <laughs> just, why would I buy a whole thing? I can see the white. Why I would be um, getting a whole thing of white for, you know, horses, unicorns, etc. But not yellow. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Our brains as crafters and creators work in mysterious ways. Also, it helps if you don't lift it off the table. If you can just scooch it in to your zip tie, that helps too. Like I said, this is the fabric felt. Thank you so much once again for letting me know if this is what it's called. Um, so it's thick. It's really, really thick. Yes, thank you. Doing it now. Doing it now. Lorraine, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Good candy. I'm glad. You guys, the boards are awesome. The boards are going to take off very soon. Very, very soon. Deco Exchange is now carrying them. Um, Michaels, etc. They're... They're coming out and, you know, not say get on the bandwagon, but hey, get on the bandwagon. Whatever, you know, uh, Lori, hmm, before she went on the trip or she was showing us the horse boards and I haven't picked up any yet, but she talked about the um, shower curtains. Now, obviously this one. You know, you can maybe treat it for outdoor use. I was thinking this would be really pretty in a kitchen, in a bedroom, or even a living room. It'd be really, really pretty. Just to brighten up. We've had some ucky days lately, and the sun is, was finally came out today. It was really gross this morning. I was like, oh, let's just brighten it up a little. And how do you brighten it up? By doing a sunflower. I know sunflowers may be for the summer or in the fall, but you know what? They're all year round. Am I missing any questions? If I'm missing your question, my apologies. Hopefully some of the ladies that do use Unique in the Creek boards can answer them for you. Thank you, Rosie. This is, thank you so much for asking that question, Jennifer. This is, I cut eight by eight squares, okay? Just eight by eight. And this is on the small flower board. If you're to do it on a large 16 inch, I suggest you do 10, just to make it a little bit bigger. But this is eight by eight. I turn it on its side and I cut the folded part. So that way I get my triangles. That's the only hard part. I shouldn't even say hard because it's not hard. But that's the only tedious um, work that you have for this flower. And maybe trying to scrunch it up and it not pop out of your fingers. So there's 16 sets of holes on row one. So I'm almost done with row one. And once you're done, and this includes the large flower board, once you're done with these 16, the rest of the flower goes really fast. It doesn't matter if you're using deco mesh, a fabric, um, a shower curtain. I, I'm very interested in see how, what that's gonna look 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 look, look like. Um, it, but one, this is a hard, not really hard row, but there's so many. But then you go in and then it's done. It's like, okay, I could do another one. So with the fabric felt, I can get at least two of these small, um, small boards. I could be more, I didn't measure it out. <laughs> I 
I normally don't. I just look at something and go, ooh, pretty. Let me buy. <laughs> and then I get in trouble. And then my craft room looks the way it does. <laughs> Let me answer some questions. <laughs> We're having a bad snowstorm, right? <gasps> Julia. Oh, yeah, sunflowers are pretty. Julie, stay inside. You don't need to be going out in that. Just stay and watch lives if you can. I don't know who else is on, but <laughs> watch lives all day. Or I'll hunker down if I if there's not a live on, or even if there's a live on, I'll put on some Netflix. And Danny and I like to watch Comet, um, <laughs> really bad sci-fi shows, or like horror movies. But they really okay. Back in the day, I'm sure, like in the '80s or whatever. They were like terrifying, but now it's kind of, you look at them, it's kind of like, really? What were we scared about? Okay, so that is row one, all the way around, 16, okay? That poly something? I missed the beginning. Oh, no, no, Jennifer, you are totally fine. No, this is um, fabric felt. I had it. <laughs> no problem. I was talking about yesterday. I, w I didn't go live because I'm like, I really need to do something with this room. <laughs> so I started cleaning and I found the fabric felt for in yellow. And I don't know why I purchased it. <laughs> don't know why I got it. Um, but... I'm like, okay, well, you know what? I haven't done the small board. So I am going to go ahead and do a sunflower with it. Why not? And so I took the Ophelia flower because I really like the way that um, looks on a sunflower with the petals. And I'm like, oh, but I tried to do it on here. And I'm like, oh, that's not going to work. That's too, too thick. Because you still want it to hold in the zip ties. So I just cut the 8 by 8 square into a triangle and scrunch it up that way. Perfect. It's perfect. Okay, so now we're going in a round two. I already started my row two. Like I said, evergreen, see? Um, I just wanted to make sure there was covering before I came on the live. <laughs> Where am I going? See, I'm going in a row three already. Come on now, Amy. So this is row two, and you see the board here, but you won't when I get into row three. The way the holes are designed when you have, that's why I like um, fabric on the flower boards because they cover. And yes, I know deco mesh, you know, is more durable for the outside. I really think of the flowers and they are for the outside for the door absolutely but for inside like a decor a wall decor just something really pretty if you don't have pictures you don't want to do um you know you want to do something different these are fantastic these are absolutely fantastic Boop. i'm doing the same thing i'm just going in a row two and i'm going to turn over the board so that way you can see I did it again I went into row three <laughs> I am just wherever there's a zip tie you're gonna place it in sorry guys okay so we already did row one which is 16 we are now doing row two which is eight row three eight and then the middle is four. Sorry guys. I'm talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing and I'm not paying attention to the comments. Sorry. Oh, thanks Lee. I hope so. I'll feel it. Yeah, yeah. What did I say it was? Hi Madonna. Hi Trisha. Oh, I'm just trucking along. That's all you're doing. You can definitely do this on the sofa. 
watching TV, whatever. You just put this on your lap or put it on another um, board and go. You can do it on this board and then just load each set of holes with the zip ties, but in the middle it's gonna be hard to do the pedal <laughs> because it's gonna be all full. <laughs> so once again, if you're just joining, hello. Um, this is an eight by eight square of fabric felt. I folded it in half and cut the triangle. And now I'm going to take from end to end, I'm going to take my thumbs, bring that corner to the back, and I'm just scrunching. I'm sure maybe this has been done already. I just haven't seen it. So I'm not going to claim it. <laughs> I'm not going to claim it because I don't know if it's been done already. But I know the Ophelia flower has been done. And when I get to here, I'm going to bring this under, okay? And I like the Ophelia flower. I just, I haven't done uh, more flowers like that. I did my Uncle, not Uncle Sam, the Eagle from Derica Designs. I did the feathers. I did red, white, um, going to the quarter and then the blue and white. Oh, it's pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. What? Oh, no. Oh, Madonna, I'm sorry. So. Boo, 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 boo. I see it popped out. So if it pops out, you just go back in. It's thick. It really is. So if you do use um, fabric, it'll be a little easier to work with. I really like the idea of the yellow and white gingham. Somebody needs to do that either on the small or the large flower board. Somebody needs to do a yellow and white gingham fabric. That would be awesome. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Annette. Hold on, let me read some comments, sorry. Yes, Annette, I do, but you don't have to. Um, like, I'll just, cut about two inches smaller, but like the Rosie Posey that Rose did earlier today, um, Race by Rosie, um, she used 10 inch instead of the 21 inch, um, cause it's, it's just smaller, but it's the same amount of holes, if that makes any sense whatsoever, but you don't have to. Yeah, they are rosy. They are rosy. We use uh, command hooks. I think it was Damon that was talking about. He doesn't know how to hang, hang a command hook. I'm like, what? Trick to hanging a command hook. It says it on the package. Nobody reads it. Honest to God. Prepping your wall with alcohol helps it stick better. The... Um, the uh, wreaths that I have hanging, above, sorry, I keep shaking that. I'm not used to the camera on the table. <laughs> it's a new mount. Um, on my wall here are just by, with command hooks. What I have on my door when I take pictures, command hooks. That has been on there since the day we moved in. And the day we moved in was three years ago. And the one before that was on my other door and that was for five years. So prepping your wall, <laughs> It's key. Fight. See? Pay attention to what you're doing. Okay. We use command for everything. Just easier. In our living room, where it has a family tree, that's all command. Um, not hooks, but the command uh, strips. 
it works just fine. And I can change out the pictures whenever I want. Okay, so now see how fast that was? Now that I did the correct row. So row two is done, so I'm going to row three. Turn it around. This is coming out so pretty. Look what up, what am I, what did I miss? Did she? I missed it. I missed it. With the fabric? Oh, I missed it. There are times, like I said, when I am. When I'm um, at work, I miss half the day. Madonna. I need to clean you later on. <laughs> and somebody just pulled behind. Of course they did. Because people have no. Never mind. Moving on. Don't get me started with that. Oh, what am I doing? More scrunching, more scrunching, more scrunching. Putting it in. Oh. I'm just making it as tight as I can because it's the fabric felt and you don't want it to pull out. I should stop fluffing. I should just fluff the petals when I'm done because they're going to get ruined when I'm doing it anyways. It's like a bow. Well, I fluff the bow until the very end because your arms and your hands are going to come across the bow and because you're putting other things in like picks and And I'm, you know what, I didn't even say. I'm putting about, maybe about an inch, maybe, mm, yeah, about an inch in, not even. See, I did it again, I'm fluffing. Stop fluffing. Stop fluffing. See, it goes really quick. You could do anything. With these boards. I love the flower boards. You can do anything. You could do poofs like a regular wireframe. And see, you don't see the zip ties. You don't see them at all. That's another one I haven't done. I haven't done the candy flower. <sighs> I've done, I haven't done the Rosie really Posey. I haven't done the candy. <sighs> I haven't done the Rita. There's so many out there, guys. There's so many. The Rita looks complicated. And I know it's not because I've seen a ton of lives. But still, <laughs> there's some that intimidate me. I know that I need, just need to do it and get it over with. Like that horse board intimidated me snot out of me but then I did it and I'm just like what's the next horse I can do there we go and then last on row three and see how full it is oh, this would be so pretty for somebody's wall or inside door <gasps> inside pantry door so pretty I have a hook on my inside pantry door. What is that on there right now? I don't know what's on my pantry door right now. I got Reese all over the place. My show is next weekend. I will be doing a live from the show just to show you how fun this show is. And Lee, <gasps> you would have a ball at the show. It's so much fun for kids. They love it. So I'm going into my four right here. 
And we're almost done, guys. Then we need to pick a center. What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, thank you. Nancy, this is a zip tie gun. I got it from Amazon. It was like $14, $15. And it will tighten and cut your zip tie all at the same time. It's called a zip tie gun. If you go on the search, Vicky, welcome. Iowa, is it cold there? <laughs> Lee, I'm just a nerd, period. <laughs> I'm proud of it. You know, in school, it's like, mm, you know, you don't want to really say, you know, what you like because, you know, kids are cruel. Kids are really cruel. And, hey, Pam. Hi, Linda. Ah, uh, Dan's being a sled. <laughs> Absolutely, yes, ma'am. I, if I can catch the comment right away, I, I'll explain anything. But if I miss it, one of the ladies will be more than happy to um, tell you what it is, explain or whatever. But I always try to read the comments every once in a while. But then I'm like, oh, I need to really get this project done so I'm not on the live so long. But I like talking to you. Uh, see, I thought I was going to have to do in between here. I may not. That is covering. That is covered. Oh. See? Less money. Less supplies. Yes, Donna. This is called fabric felt. And it's cut at 8 inch squares. I fold it into a triangle and cut the fold, and that's what we have here. This is on the small Unique in the Creek flower board. If you're using the large, I suggest you do 10 by 10 squares. Jeez, Vicky, way too cold. Way too cold. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Or did I just misread that? Because I do that too, guys. I do do that too. And I miss comments. I don't mean to. Oh, it's so pretty. And then one more. Normally, yeah, I would go from the extra like with a big flower, and if you're doing a uh, deco mesh, normally you're going to use this. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> no, you need to get back in there. <laughs> That's the little corner. Between this and here, you would do a zip tie to um, cover this area right here, but the petal is covering it by itself. And if I decide to do the deco tubing, <laughs> covered. It's so, so covered. Y'all have to help me with the center. I, I'm done with the flower and I haven't decided about the center. <laughs> These are my issues. Put it in there. Zip tie it down. If you're going to be doing a lot of these wreaths, I highly suggest that you get the zip tie gun. It's fast. It's easy. It just makes it a lot better. So, so pretty. Of course, that ha has to be fluffed. Absolutely, Donna. Yikes! 14? No. Mm -mm. No. Okay, I'm not going to tell you what the weather is over here. <laughs> you're going to be like, Amy, you're from Illinois? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> Deco tubing. Oh, well, Vicky, 
Welcome. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for asking questions. Please ask questions. I love to teach and I love to show uh, what I have learned. Um, I also uh, love to, you know, just show you different ways to do things. Okay. We have this little center that I did earlier. We can do that. This is a, a four inch foam ball um, that I cut in half. And then this is the brown um, fabric that I did get off um, the not spool, I'm trying to think of it now. Um, when I did my reindeer at the holidays on the horse board, we can do that. Hi, Tom. Oh, that Tweety Bird is so cute. Vicki, I'm in San Antonio, Texas. So that's why I'm not going to tell you what the weather's like over here because I'm cold, but my cold is way different. I'm from um, the northern part of Illinois, almost to the Wisconsin border, and <laughs> my sister and I were just talking about it. D, the material is um, the uh, fabric felt, and it's cut at eight inch squares. I folded it into a triangle and then cut it down the middle. So we have this one. Amy, shush and get on with it. I could use the coconut bra. Uh, this I think is too big. If you are doing the large, the 16 inch um, flower board, this would be perfect in the middle. This is a seven inch um center from craft outlet this is the coconut bra half of the coconut bra from dollar tree what else then i have the deco tubing if you have not seen this is brown deco tubing oh where's my stuff over here let me just show you really quick oh thanks joe i appreciate that yeah, come on. How many yards? Mmm, Sharon, sorry. <laughs> I, I got this last year when I got the white for the unicorn and it's in the fabric section at Walmart. It's in a package by itself. Um, I couldn't tell you how many yards I used on here. They're just eight by eight inch squares. I'm so sorry. I couldn't even, I don't even have the packaging, you know, the, the wrap packaging when they um, do it because that I took off last year cause I was going to do a project. Then all of a sudden I stopped doing the project or I, I honestly forgot what I got this for, excuse me. And I, I found it when I was cleaning. So with a deco tubing, I have a six inch um, cardboard wrapped in duct tape. And so I'm just gonna wrap the deco tubing around it three times. Two, three, is that three? No, it's not three. Okay, let me cut it off here. I should have put the zip ties in first. That's all right. It's okay. That's all right. That's okay. And then I slide it off, holding it on as best as possible. There you go. It's just like doing um, the ribbon tails. And then you're going to put that in the middle. So what do we think? What do we think, guys? Deco tubing, coconut. So I have one, I'm just reading the comments now. I have one for deco tubing, one for coconut. I'm just waiting, I know there's a delay. Coconut, coconut. <laughs> Thank you. Deco 
Tubing looks good. Tubing. Tubing. Yeah. I think I'll do the tubing. Um, this would look really cute on this as well. It's just these bigger ones. You know what? The sunflowers do have a big center, but that one's way too big. I'll do the deco tubing just so that way I can show you guys. So let me hold this here. And there's my cat right at my feet. Oh, it's you. Oh, what was that? Oh. <laughs> Yay. Wait, hold on now. Deco tubing. You need to like. I do. I love these things. They cut through anything. Love them, love them, love them, Tom. I have um, a set that matched the pliers that I took from Danny. They were fine, but these things cut through um, your wire frames. I love them. Too big, too big. Oh, see, now I'm all half and half. Coconut, coconut, deco tubing, tubing. Let me just show you really quickly. So I go in between. Give me a second, guys, and I'll turn it around so that way you can see. Let me just get it through here first. Okay. Okay, all I did was I went from there to there. I use those holes when I'm doing the deco tubing, like on the, um, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the other daisy. Hmm. Hold on guys. La, 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 la. Hi Dana. Tubing, coconut, coconut, coconut. <laughs> coconut no Etsy oh please I don't want to step on you um let me show you the deco tubing if you don't like the deco tubing then I can take it off and we can do the coconut since I'm already I'm already committed guys I should have waited a little bit longer oh no you're fine Dana like I always say if you're late no problem best that you're here thank you so much for being here my videos will always be on my page under the video um I think there's a search like I try to type in what I'm doing for that live so that way you can just do a search or you can just see you don't have to go through the entire live or like the first part and say oh that's not the live I was looking for um just so that way you can see what that project was The ribbon racks are um, shoe racks. <laughs> so do I, Dana. The, the ribbon racks are shoe racks from Amazon. I'm not fancy, guys. Those that know and have followed and see my lives, I, I'm not fancy at all. We're not fancy people. I don't think we'll ever be fancy people. <laughs> So all I did was I wrapped the deco tubing around my six inch cardboard um, wrapped with uh, duct tape. Like I said, not fancy guys. And now I'm just, it's like a, t um, a tail when you're doing your ribbon tails. That's all I'm doing. Oh, that one came out. How dare you? Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just laying it in. Oh. Uh, don't like the holes showing on them. Which holes? What? Tina, I missed it. Tina, I missed what you were saying. I normally do six inch 
So this may not work, but I was gonna try it. What do I do? Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work for this one. Yeah, because normally I do the six inch because I'm doing it on a large um, uh, flower board and a six inch like really fills up. I don't want to do, uh, not six inch, but uh, around six times instead of three, but maybe I should do six. Hold on. I'm playing guys. You're here with me now. Let's go ahead and play. We're going to play with the center a little. Okay, Joyce, what I'm going to do is after the live, um, I don't know what they're called. There's nothing on them that tells me what they're called. They're just plastic. They're cheap. I think they were 19 bucks. One, two. Three, four, five, six. I've got more tubing if need be. We're just playing with the center, guys. That's all we're doing. I may end up doing the coconut. Yes. Let's see how much that fills out a little bit more. Yeah. I should have done the six, but that's okay. Because we're going to use the coconut. Coconut. Put the lime in the coconut. Coconut. You don't like something? Take it apart. Play with it. That went over somewhere. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna do the coconut bra. And the coconut bra has the string attachments for the other coconut to make it a bra. So I'm just gonna use this hole right here and this hole right here. I do have brown um, pipe cleaners. don't have yellow and all I'm doing is taking it through and twisting yes yes I know I know I should have listened to you in the first place guys <laughs> trust the peeps ma'am <laughs> all right I'm missing comments again I'm sorry mm -hmm. no I'm not fancy Never. Joyce, I'll, um, I, see, I can't even finish a thought. I'll post them to my page um, when I find them. Nobody wants to highlight in this line. Everybody wants the ribbon holders today. They are um, shoe racks. I will definitely, after this live, I will go um, find them on Amazon. 